Hey, welcome back to Oak Rocks. I am in my backyard right now, and today we are going to be cleaning up some fossils that we found on the beaches of Lake Michigan using muriatic acid as well as baking soda. All right, well, let's get started. I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so first things first, these are going to be the supplies that we're using today from right moving left. We have our PPE. I'm going to be using a respirator, uh, some protective gloves, as well as protective eyewear. And then we have baking soda to neutralize the acid, two different pails, one for the baking soda and water, uh, one for the muriatic acid and water. And then on the left, we have our uh, gallon container of muriatic acid, as well as the rocks that I would like to soak today. All right, so here are all of the rocks and fossils that I'm going to be soaking today. Uh, the goal is to get all the dirt and grime and all that good stuff out of there, as well as eat away at any of the calcite and the limestone. Uh, the goal, hopefully, is to expose a lot of the different fossils um, so they're much more defined so you can see exactly what they are. All right, well, let's get started. So I just want to stress the importance of making sure that you are protecting yourself because you do not want to get muriatic acid in your eye. You will go blind. You may possibly lose an eye, um, as well as protecting your lungs from any of the vapors that are emitted when the rocks are soaking inside of the acid. So again, just make sure you're protecting yourself good enough. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the PPE on, make sure I'm good and protected. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take the baking soda and I'm going to get that solution all mixed up first. So just kind of use your best judgment when you're uh, putting in the amount of baking soda you want to use. Alright, next we are going to add the muriatic acid. So typical concentration is going to be uh, one part muriatic acid to ten parts of water, but I'm actually going to do a half and half mix because the rocks that we're using today do have quite a bit of limestone attached to them, so I'm going to need a little more aggressive mix. Okay, now we have our acid all mixed up, and we have the baking soda solution all mixed up as well. The goal here is to soak it into the muriatic acid until I'm satisfied with where it's at. Then we're going to transfer it over to the baking soda solution, and we're going to leave it in here the same exact amount of time that we had it inside of the acid bucket as well. That way we just make sure that everything is fully neutralized before we take it out, and then final step will be just to give it a good rinse of water. Alright, well, let's start adding our rocks. And one good thing you can do so you don't have to change gloves is just any time that you're touching the acid, make sure you go over here and you neutralize your hands as well. Alright, well, now we just sit and we wait and we see what happens. So, we'll give this some time and then we'll check back on it in a couple hours and see where we're at. Well, as you can see, we're getting a very good reaction from the acid, so it is successfully chewing away at all that limestone we'd like to eliminate. We will check back in a couple hours and see uh, how things look. If everything's good to go, then we'll give it a good bath in the baking soda and go from there. All right, it's been about 24 hours, so we are going to transfer all of the rocks over into the uh, baking soda solution. 
So we can neutralize the acid and then we'll let that sit for about the same amount of time and then we'll do a final review at the end. All right, well, we are on day three. I just got done taking everything out of the baking soda bath and rinsed everything with water. Uh, I had to move this party inside because it is Wisconsin. And of course, three days ago it was 70 degrees, but today it is maybe gonna touch 30 degrees. So, all right, well, let's get some close-ups here and see how all of these fossils and agates turned out. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the agates. So these are actually Luna Blue agates. Um, this one seemed to clean up pretty darn good. Uh, before it was all brown on the outside, and it looks like it uh, cleared up quite a bit. Still a little bit of crap on the inside, but overall it really exposed the druzy pocket really well. And then we got this one, which turned out pretty awesome. It's got that uh, nice betroidal looking uh, druzy quartz going on here. So yeah, a lot of this really wasn't visible. Uh, before I put it in the muriatic acid. But it turned out pretty nice. Didn't clean up as nice as I would have liked, but still looks way better than it did. Alright, so this next chain coral did not turn out as good as I thought it would. Uh, so I may give it another acid bath, just because I did add it to the bucket a little bit late. Um, and there's a lot more limestone that could get chewed off of here, and I think that this one would come out pretty, 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 pretty. So we will see what happens. And then this favocyte is cleaned up pretty decent. A lot more defined areas here. Um, it's pretty much fully silicified, so I wasn't expecting it to clean up, you know, that great, where it would, you could see all the honeycombs, but for the most part, it turned out pretty decent. Then next up was this little uh, chunk of fossil soup here. So it did dissolve a little bit of the limestone um, off the top here, and it looks like it uh, revealed, it looks like it's possibly a silk crab. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you know, for the most part, it, it's remained pretty bland. And I really don't think that leaving it in the acid any longer was going to clean this one up any further. So it was done bubbling, so I pulled it. And then next... This one turned out pretty decent. So this was actually just a chain coral. You know, this would be the top view of it. But it really took out a lot of the limestone, so you could really see the defined features in this one. Especially here. I mean, this was just full, thick limestone. Look at it, it's still rubbing off. Awesome. So this particular rock, uh, I actually found it when I was metal detecting my yard, so I really wasn't expecting a whole lot to happen with it. And I can tell you that it looks exactly the same as it did when I put it in the acid bath. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm dealing with, but there it is. So here was another chain coral. It turned out pretty decent. Um, when you flip it over, definitely brought out a lot more of the features. So I was hoping a lot more would have dissolved on the top to bring out some of the features, but it didn't. But I'm not too upset. This is uh, this looks pretty pretty darn good. And here's the top of a horn coral. So it brought out some of the features on the side of the horn coral, but uh, for the most part, it looks pretty much the same as it did when I put it in the acid bath. But cool nonetheless. So this next one is actually a uh, blue chalcedony nodule. And I was hoping some of this stuff on the outside would clean up, but it it didn't. So I was wrong. It was definitely not limestone. <laughs> this one here was just another chunk of fossil soup. Um, you can see just a little bit of the horn coral here. And some of that limestone did not come off of the top. So I think this might be another one that I'm going to soak again uh, with those other ones from earlier. And just see what happens. You know, if it removes a little bit more, awesome. We'll see some more of these features that are in here. But it did clean up, you know, fairly decent. 
And here is a syringopora that I was really hoping was going to clean up a little bit better, but I knew that it was pretty much fully solidified, but it did clean out some of these holes a little bit so you could get a little better look at them. But nothing too special. And this chunk of fossil soup cleaned up really well, and it is literally just looks like probably 10 to 20 different um, silk crab <laughs> shells, so pretty awesome. Not what I was expecting. It was just a big blob of white when it started, but really cool. Now on to my favorites, the chain coral. This stuff cleaned up really good. Uh, I just dropped that one, but that's okay because that one really wasn't uh, anything special. <laughs> so now we're going to get into the ones that really look awesome. Check that out. Completely cleared out the limestone, only revealing the coral. So that is super cool. I can't wait to find some really nice uh, specimens of this. Clean them up. And then this next one here. I mean, look how awesome that is. Really cool. It did a really nice job. There's still some limestone stuck in there. So when I throw those others uh, in, I'm probably going to throw this in as well. Just to get that final cleaning. But, I mean, how cool is that? And then we got another one here. Cleaned up really nicely. Pretty much see all the way through it. And one final one here. Turned out, I'm going to have to put my hand there so it zooms. Look at that. Completely cleaned out the limestone. There wasn't a whole lot in that particular rock, but wow, that looks really cool now. I really love this stuff. This is one of my favorite fossils anyway, so the fact that they clean up so nicely is just awesome. And then last but not least, this is basically what it looked like beforehand, and this is what it looked like after the acid bath. So it was just filled with brachiopod shells. A um, little bit of coral mixed in there. All sorts of stuff. So yeah, it actually dissolved everything and left everything loose on the bottom. But uh, like right here, this one's a really cool, almost a full brachiopod shell that came out of the rock. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. Alright, well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you learned a little bit. And maybe next thing you know you'll be in your backyard cleaning some of your rocks with acid. So, all right, well, on that note, I will see you next Friday for another rock hounding video. Until then, have a great day.